game theory, the extensive form is a way of describing a game using a game tree. It's simply a diagram that shows what choices are made at different points in time. Let's learn how to build and understand these game trees. Let's say we want to know the outcome of a game with two players, player 1 and player 2. Each player will be able to choose from various alternatives called strategies. For simplicity's sake, let's consider only two strategies, strategy A and strategy B. Player 1 starts playing this game and therefore has to make a decision. This is represented by a decision node. These are points in time when players have to make decisions about which strategy they'll choose. In this example, since each player can choose from two different strategies, we have a branch for strategy A and another branch for strategy B. Now it's player 2's turn. As we can see, two new nodes are drawn to represent the point where a new decision has to be taken. It's important to understand that each player knows exactly at what node they are. If player 1 were to choose strategy A, player 2 would have to choose between strategy A and B. If player 1 were to choose strategy B, player 2 would again have to choose between strategy A and B. Depending on each decision, we would have different payoffs. These are represented at the end of each final branch. Payoffs are separated by commas, the first term corresponding to the payoff for player 1 and the second term corresponding to the payoff for player 2. Let's see a couple of examples. If player 1 chooses strategy A, player 2 will know that the only two possible outcomes are the upper ones. Let's say player 2 chooses strategy B. Then the final payoffs are P1A and P2B. Let's see another example. If player 1 chooses strategy B, player 2 will know that the only two possible outcomes are the lower ones. Let's say player 2 chooses strategy B. Then the final payoffs are P1B and P2B. It's worth mentioning that the extensive form can also be used to represent games with imperfect information, such as simultaneous games. In this game, we can represent this by joining player 2's nodes with a dashed line. This is called an information set. In this case, player 2 will consider that any outcome is still possible. The extensive form is a useful graphical representation of sequential and simultaneous games. They can also be analyzed backwards, in order to understand each player's strategies starting from each different outcome.